Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Does size of gestational sac matter? Conclusion. There is no difference in gestational sac diameter at 28 to 35 days from the last menstrual period in normal and abnormal pregnancies. However, smaller than expected sac diameter in pregnancies 36 to 42 days from the last menstrual period is predictive of spontaneous miscarriage. Does a small gestational sac mean miscarriage? A small for gestational age gestational sac volume is a significant sonographic predictor of miscarriage, as are fetal bradycardia, a small gestational sac diameter, and a small or large yolk sac diameter. Why is my gestational sac so big? An abnormally large sac lacking an embryo is always abnormal and is usually due to an anembryonic gestation. This feature occurs in 45% of all failed first trimester pregnancies. These pregnancies contain a large number of chromosomal anomalies. How many cm should gestational sac be at 5 weeks? A gestational sac could be identified at 5 weeks gestation. Embryo heartbeat was imaged when the mean gestational sac diameter measured 2 cm and embryo body movements could be seen when the mean gestational sac diameter reached 3 cm. How can I increase my gestational sac size? Some suggestions for how to increase amniotic fluid levels include increasing water intake. If women have slightly lower than usual levels of amniotic fluid, they may be able to increase their levels by drinking more water. Supplementation rest, amnio infusion, early delivery. What was baby's heartbeat at six weeks? Generally, from six and a half minus seven weeks is a time when a heartbeat can be detected and viability can be assessed. A normal heartbeat at six to seven weeks would be 90 to 110 beats per minute. The presence of an embryonic heartbeat is an assuring sign of the health of the pregnancy. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.